Hello you delightful little nibbleheads, my name is Jacqueline Wills, Andy Stanton, and I am a professional children's author. I've written loads of books, I've written, I've got loads of books here, I've written Mr. Gum books, you might know those, I've written a book called Nap Off, I've written a book called The Panunias of Pompeii, I've written picture books as well, Danny McGee Drinks the Sea, that's a good one, uh, Going to the Volcano, and I've even written a book called Here Comes the Pooh Bus, but we don't talk about that one because it's disgusting. Uh, all of those books have one thing in common, they are very funny, yes. and I thought I would give you some tips on how to write funny stuff, so let's have a think. Uh, the first tip is really important, the first tip is just read loads of funny stuff, do your homework. Uh, I grew up reading as many funny things as I could, uh, comics like The Beano and The Dandy, uh, Royal Dahl books like Fantastic Mr Fox and uh, The Twits, everything I could get my hands on. Read, read, read. The more you know about funny stuff, the more you'll be able to make your own funny stuff. That goes for any type of writing. If you want to write crime books, read loads of crime thrillers. Uh, if you want to write uh, superhero comics, read loads of superhero comics. But for funny stuff, read funny stuff. Watch funny things on TV, watch funny movies, but read, read, read. If you want to write funny stuff, read funny stuff. The more you love it, the more you'll be good at it. Tip two. Find interesting ways to describe stuff. If you've got something happening in your story, even if it's uh, just something quite boring, like Frank had a very painful headache, don't just say, Frank had a very painful headache. It's boring. Spice it up a bit. Uh, think of an interesting way to describe it. For example, uh, Frank had such a bad headache that it felt like there was an angry little pixie inside his head, smashing up his brains with a sledgehammer. So when I'm writing my funny stories, I'm always trying to find weird descriptions and ways to spice things up a bit, make it a bit funnier, make it more lively. Tip three, I'm going to call grapefruit, snooker table, oink, woof dog, yeah. And that's all about using funny words. Um, some, some, some words are just funny, like grapefruit, I always find really funny. Uh, monkey's funny, it doesn't mean you have to have a story about uh, a monkey, but you could have somebody say, oh you cheeky little monkey, to a character, and then you've got funny words in there. Uh, I like to make up words as well. I like to make up strange sound effects. If someone's getting slapped around the face, go vroink, yimp, blurp. Someone's being sick, maybe blurp, gruff. What does that even mean? Dumbler. Don't know. I used to. I like to make up loads of words and enjoy the sound of language and just make up strange sound effects and things. Uh, tip four: Give the wrong job to the wrong person. This is really funny. If you want to think about writing a story to begin with and you haven't got an idea, think about the worst person in the world to do that job. Years and years ago, there was a sitcom on TV called Forty Towers, maybe you've seen it. Uh, John Cleese plays a guy called Basil Forty. Basil Forty runs a hotel. Unfortunately, Basil Forty is the worst person in the world to run a hotel. He is so rude, he hates people, he can't stand people, he can't be polite to people. So if you want to come up with an idea for a funny story, imagine the worst person in the world to do that job. That's a really good start. So you could think of a superhero who's scared of heights. Oh my god, I've got to climb up that building to get the baddies, but I'm scared of heights. Or I've got to go flying over the city, but I don't really want to. Maybe the superhero takes the bus, or maybe he does fly, but he just hates it. Ah! Uh, what else could you have? You could have a dentist who is absolutely terrified of teeth. He can't stand teeth. Uh, you could have a ballerina who's really clumsy. Give the worst person in the world the job and that's a good springboard for writing funny stories. And finally, tip five is this. It's great to have funny stuff in your story. That's what you're doing, writing a funny story. But you also have to remember to do all the things that anyone writing any story uh, tries to do, and that is to give us a good plot, characters we care about, emotional reactions from the characters that we care about. So you don't make everything funny, silly, 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 funny. Underneath it all, there still has to be a really good story with real emotions. And if you want a really good example of that, one of my favourite funny books of all time is called The 18th Emergency by Betsy Byers. Uh, it's a lovely story, it's really funny, but it's sad and it's sweet and it makes you think at the same time. 
So yes, be funny, be silly, do crazy stuff, do all the stuff I've told you about, but underneath it all, you've got to draw us in and make us care about it. All right? So it's quite hard writing funny stuff, but it is worth it when you see somebody reading your book and going, that was rubbish, didn't make me laugh at all. Yeah,